thing on. What's up internet, current 1776 here in the woods, in the shade right now, fixing to show you guys what's in mission 86, a battle box right here. This here's the April box. And I'm sorry about the delay on getting the video out. It's, it's, been, it's been a rough week, folks. <laughs> it's been one of them weeks. I'm sure everybody you know, is, is living life at all, has uh, experienced those, those times where it's like just nothing's, nothing's gonna go right. Nothing's gonna go your way at all. That was last week. So if you're on the members only page on Facebook, you kind of know what was going on last week. Last week we had several days of extreme weather conditions around here. We had a lot of tornadoes touch down, not far right down the road, and it, it was bad folks, straight up uh, destruction. Had two days of bad weather and, uh, and, and tornadoes, a couple here in this area, a couple to kind of north uh, northeast of me, and I think there was one or two just across the border in South Carolina. It was a very rough week with that. A lot of people suffered a lot of damages, a lot of loss, loss of lives, loss of property. You know, the world's got turned upside down. So had that going on, obviously I can't get out and film when it's freaking storming and windy like that during a tornadic event. That delayed it. I shared some pictures and some stuff on the members only page, but I, I didn't I didn't shoot any footage or good because I mean I'm just being respectful, you know, to, to those people. I'm not there to get footage and it's, it's just it just ain't cool. But anyway, Friday was, was a mess around here, extremely windy, couldn't get out and film. And my son had surgery on his knee again to get the screws taken out that he got put in there a year and a half ago when he broke his legs. So I had to deal with that Friday. Saturday, my daughter's cat was really sick, went and got it checked out, and I uh, had to put it down today, like literally within you know the last hour I, I buried it in the backyard. So been dealing with that. But it's time for the mission video. <laughs> get, get the week started on a good note, right? With the mission video right here. So mission 86, putting last week behind us and hoping for a great week this week. We're gonna start off with mission 86, the battle box, the April box, yeehaw. It's a nice long box. Let's see what's inside. Come along with me. Let's open this thing up. All right, and I ain't even gonna gripe about the shade and shadows hitting the table just because of how last week sucked. I know in the last video I had issues with my daggone shade and shadows are hitting. I don't, I don't even care anymore. I'm glad the sun's out. I'm glad it ain't, the, the wind ain't blow, blowing 300 mile an hour through here. Let's see what we have here. We've got, of course, the mission brief. Yeehaw. On the front here, we got a little write up from yours truly and we flip the page and we jump into what's in the basic box. So what do we have first in the basic box, you may be wondering. First in the basic box, we got the Tactica M020 camping tool. Where's it at? Right there. Let's take a look at it. Really cool little EDC type tool. Here on the back, it shows you what it has um, in store for you. We got a sundial, we got a bottle opener, we got a ferro rod striker there, that serrated area, and it can be used as, you know, a place to cut cordage. Here we got a rope cutter, we got a metric ruler, flat screwdriver, a can opener. We've got the ferro rod fire st starter. Got yourself a pry bar, tent peg puller, an inch ruler on this side, and here we've got a rope tensioner. So let's open up the box here and take a gander at it. So here on the inside, we've got the tool itself. Up top here, we've got the ferro rod. Here you got your ferro rod. That's gonna go in this little black piece right here. We'll go ahead and stick that in there and put that back on. That's where that'll live right there. And then we've got an instruction manual. It shows you how to use each of the, each of the different features on here, which is kind of cool. Oftentimes I throw away the instructions, right? We don't need instructions. We're men, we figure things out and or break it in the process or just do it wrong, right? <laughs> but anyway, this does have instructions to kind of show you, you know, how to use this because, you know, kind of looking at it, you're like, well, I don't really know how to use that thing. But it's got nice illustrations on here to show you how to use it from the rope tensioner all the way down to the screwdriver and, of course, the bottle opener. So let's take a better look at it here. So right up here at the top, we've got the uh, sundial hole. So you can stick a little small stick in there. And actually I saw a picture of a, a fellow there on the uh, members only page, he already got his box. He showed a picture using one of his wife's bobby pins stuck in that hole to cast the shadow for the sundial and it appeared to work really, really well. So that's a pretty, pretty cool way of thinking right there. But here we've obviously got our bottle opener area. These areas right here is for your rope tensioner. So you can pass your rope through there and use this to help tension down a rope. Here on this side you have an inch ruler. Right here, this serrated area 
is for striking the ferro rod. On this side here, they're calling this area for a tent peg puller. And let's be honest, sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get a tent peg out. You use something or you use, you get a rope down in there, your cord is down in there to try to pull this up and keep this in your pocket. You're able to grab that tent peg and pull that tent peg right out. And then here we've got a bladed section, a sharp area that you can use as a rope cutter. This area right here is used for, uh, so you can use this as a can opener if you don't have a can opener. Here we've got a flat screwdriver. This area right here is for the pry bar. And then of course, the ferro rod just slides right on up in there and you're able to keep that just like that. So really cool little piece of kit. It's one of those just kind of EDC type deal. They also call it a camping card. So if you take that ferro rod out and you can just drop that in your pocket, I mean, you can literally put this in a wallet if you want to. But just a cool, innovative thing. Tactico makes some really cool, innovative multi-tools. And uh, this right here is a really cool addition to have in the basic box, yeehaw. So we're gonna set that right here as your first item in the basic box. That's a donkey. So next up in the basic box is from Outdoor Element. Have you ever been camping and you got a pot, you know, or a cup or a pot over your fire or over whatever you're using as a heat source and that rascal's hot and you need to, to take it off of there and you, you're rigging up sticks and you're rigging up twine and all kind of stuff to get that pot off of there so you don't burn your hands or you're using a shemog or something like that as a pot holder and things like that. This little tool right here solves that problem. It's pretty freaking slick from Outdoor Element. It's called the Handled. It's the pot gripper. Yeehaw. This thing right here is really cool. And it's, it's somewhat of a multi-tool as well. It's not just for, for grabbing pots and, and stuff like that off your fire. So let's take a look at it in the package and I'll take it loose and show it to you. Handled right here on the front says pot gripper fuel canister recycle tool. Yeehaw. And, and some other stuff right there that I can't pronounce, which I'm pretty sure says the exact same thing as pot gripper and fuel canister recycle tool. <laughs> see back for details. We're gonna flip it over. And as you can see here, obviously it can be used as a pot gripper or a pognat et casserole. It shows you how to use this as a fuel canister recycle tool. So those little fuel canisters, you know, that a lot of us use for ultralight camping and things like that. A lot of backpackers use those. When you dispose of them, you're supposed to puncture them so that there's no, no pressure in them whatsoever. So you can throw them in a dump. You don't want those guys compacting things and stuff or, or wherever it goes, landfill and the compactors or whatnot, and it gets crushed and it ends up exploding or causing a fire or anything like that. So technically, it's supposed to be completely free of any gases whatsoever, and they should be punctured before you throw them away. Well, this does that for you. And I'll show you, obviously, video illustrating that overlaid in this here video. So here's the tool right here. Obviously this is where you grip your pot. So you grip your pot with this right here and you can safely move a pot around, take it off your fire, stuff like that. And don't have to worry about burning your hands or using some other finagled method to get your pot off the fire, off your heat source. And then when you're ready to use this as a fuel canister uh, recycle tool, you just pull this pin right here and this piece comes off. And as you can see here, we've got this little piece here that swivels back and forth. That screws into the canister where the stove will screw on it, right? So that screws onto there. It's got a little hole right there, so any excess gas that's in there, it'll remove that excess gas, just blow it out. And then here under this little rubber piece is the spike or puncture part so it's like a hinge, right? It just hinges down, you press that down into the canister and you essentially puncture the canister and render it useless. So that's a really cool little problem solver, if you will, pot gripper handle, handle gripper pot canister buster right there. Pretty cool little rig right there. Put your pin back in, slide that back on. Now you got your pot gripper back. So really cool tool right there for handling your pots and your pans and camp and taking care of that, uh, that canister when it's out of gas and you need to throw it in the trash, yeehaw. So that's your second item in the basic box. So next up and last in the basic box, we got the Firelight Fuel Cubes from Soul. These things right here work freaking great. 
they, they do awesome. There's 12 cubes in here. There's a bag of them right here. These little fuel cubes right here work really, really well. Um, I've tested a bunch of them, different brands, different styles, different sizes. These right here overall are, are at the top of the list. Work really, really well from Survive Outdoor Longer or Outdoors Longer Soul. So Firelight Fuel Cubes, take a look at it here. We got 12 cubes, warning, flammable. Okay, yeah, duh. It fires up with the sparks. So you can hit it with a ferro rod, which is really good. Lightweight, lights when wet, five-year shelf life. One fire, fire cubes is about 1,300 BTUs. If you don't know what a BTU is, that's British Thermal Units. It's the amount of heat required to raise one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit. So there's 1,300 of them rascals. <laughs> and these work great for anything, right? Lighting your charcoal grill at home, lighting, you know, a, a typical campfire when you're in camp, use it as a, like in the little Esbit cube um, uh, stoves and things like that as well. Works great for all those situations. So there's two packs of six. And this is what we got right here. Firelight cube, so individually packed. Just open it up, drop it out, drop it into your Esbit stove, drop it and you know, put your kindling or whatever over top of it, or of course, drop it in with your charcoal and light it up and it's good to go. Burns really hot, gets fire going quick, waterproof, small, compact. You can take these, split these up into different fire kits and you don't have to worry about the weather bothering them. I mean, you can dunk these in water outside the package, dunk them in water and they'll still light and they'll still run, okay? And it burns clear so when you when you hit it with a spark or you hit it with your lighter or however you're going to light them and you don't think it's, it's it's burning just put your hand up over it and see if you feel any heat and you're good to go you may not see the flame especially during the daytime so that's your basic box we got the m020 from tactica the camping card tool right there we've got the handled from outdoor element which is great solves the issue of not burning yourself and all that good stuff when you're in camp taking pots and pans off your fire source, and you can use it to pierce your canisters so that you can throw those away. And then we've got the sole fire cubes right here, 12 of those, great thing to add to your fire kit and uh, makes life a lot better when it's wet and windy outside, getting a fire going with them cats right there, yeehaw. So now it's time for the advanced box. And in the advanced box this month, we've got something that I freaking absolutely love this this thing has gone with me on my fishing trips on the river with my boat you know because we like like hit up the sandbars and chill out or whatever and make a meal or just sit and hang out when it warms up and you know kids go swimming in the river or whatever to camping to out here testing gear where i can set stuff out it's freaking awesome it's the cali loja camp table Bam! can you see that the cali loja camp table so Pretty dang compact for a camp table. And this thing makes a decent sized camp table, okay? And sturdy, really, really yeehaw, all right? So you got this right here. Easily stay in a vehicle, in, in, in a trunk, in the back of your truck, in toolbox, what have you. It's not heavy. I don't know if I got the weight on here or not. I don't, but it's not heavy, okay? So pull this dude out. So this one's fresh out of the box, so it's got some protective tape on there that you take off. But you got your carrying bag right there. Here's your legs. So this just simply opens up like so, and you've got two free pieces right here that fold over, okay? They just lock into place just like this. And I'll show you a video overlay of doing this so it's kind of easier to see that's your leg system right there yeehaw so pretty cool and then this here is your tabletop it's kind of accordions open so you got a nice tabletop when you get it it's going to have these plastic like protectors just tape you peel that off it's got one of those on each one so you don't have to leave those on there and then that just simply latches on to your, to your legs, it, it, it clicks in to your legs right here. I got one in the mystery spot just to make it easier for all of us. Packs back up, very easy, goes, goes back in the pack it came in, in the bag it came in. It's hard to say for a lot of things, right? You, you get a bag, 
comes in a bag, you can never get it back in. This cat goes back in every time. Fits perfect, which is awesome. One of, I think, everybody's pet peeves when it comes to stuff. Amazing table. I mean, if you got kids that play ball, like, you know, you travel all over the place carrying your kids to these ball games, sometimes it's nice. If you got your Cali Loja chair, you want something to sit your drink on or sit things on. If you're having to work, you got a laptop with you and you can work. This thing's perfect, okay? So here's one in the mystery spot, or here's mine that I've been using for a while. So this is a sample that I got a while ago. So it just latches onto there, and it is an awesome surface for you to be able to pretty much do anything with. Great little piece of kit for you to have. Excellent for fishing boats, tailgating, you name it. You got yourself a freaking table right here. Very sturdy, very durable made out of aluminum. Bottom line is it packs up really small for what it is when you have it opened up and you're using it as a table. So that is your advanced item, the Kaliloha camp table. Obviously great for in camp, right? But it's one of those items that you, you want multiples. <laughs> you want one with your camping gear. You want one that just stays in your vehicle for the times when you just, you need a a table yeah, it's, it's a great all-around item that can give you multiple multiple uses how's that look looks like i got a set of blue blinds out here in the woods <laughs> put that right there i guess that'll work so that is your advanced box the cali loha camp table and everything in the basic right there yeehaw I'm gonna put this right here just so you can see the legs on the couch. You can't see it because I got the blinds right there. All right, so that brings us to the Pro Box. The Pro Box has two items in it this month, both from Climate to kind of go together. Uh, but technically, it's two items. First up is the Climate Pillow X inflatable pillow right there. Compact, fit in your back pocket. You got yourself a pillow. So if you like me and you like hammock camping and stuff like that, have me a nice pillow really makes night in the in the hammock a whole lot better. And Climate, I mean, let's face it, man, Climate's like one of the most well-respected brands when it comes to camping comfort and things like that. They got a lot of really cool products for comfort. This pillow is extremely comfortable, especially due to its X design. That's why they call it the Pillow X or the X Pillow. So there's your little pouch right there. It actually will fit back in that pouch when you fold it back up, which is nice. And it's not some little Rinky dink pillow. It's a pretty decent size. It's got your valve right there. Obviously, as you can see, to um, move this out of the way now. Now this is in the way. Take a look at this. So here it is, unfolded the Climate Pillow X. Got your valve right here. Inflate it, and then you close your valve, obviously, to keep the air from leaking out. And then you can open and close it to adjust it you know, to, to your your liking when you when you got your head laid on it. I don't particularly like a really stiff pillow, but uh, this thing right here's got a lot of adjustability. So you blow it up. Literally one breath, <gasps> one breath to blow it up. As you can see, it's got it, it kind of flexes, right? Which is nice, because when it's on the back of your noggin, it can flex and adjust to your head right here. Give you a closer look. So there you can see the flex there, and obviously when your head's on it, you can adjust the valve to make it softer if you like, or blow it back up tight as a tick if you want to. Yeehaw, you got yourself a nice comfy pillow right there. It's kind of a pain in the butt carrying around a pillow when you go camping, right? They're bulky, they take up a lot of space. This right here, you can fold it up, literally carry it in your back pocket so it doesn't take any space up inside your pack. And you've got yourself a nice comfortable pillow that you can use sleeping on the ground in a, in a typical you know, camping fashion in a tent or something like that. Or of course, in a hammock where you really don't have any head support in a hammock, this right here 
you can tuck in behind your head and have a nice comfortable pillow. So that's the Pillow X from Climate right there. Yeehaw. So next up is also from Climate. And this right here is a really nice, really nice sleeping pad. I don't know about you, but I don't like having a rock or a stick digging me in the back. And sometimes when you're not insulated from the ground, especially when you're in a hammock and you don't have an under quilt and anything and you got wind blowing underneath air of circulation underneath your uh, hammock, you lose a lot of body heat, right? So insulating is a good thing and comfort, of course, is a good thing when you're out camping or bugging out or whatever it is. So here we've got the Climate Static V2 sleeping pad. It says right here, lightweight, easy to inflate sleeping pad that packs down small. So it fits in this little bag right here and it will go back into this bag, FYI, which is a plus. 16.6 .6 ounces or 470 grams is 72 inches by 23 inches and it's two and a half inches thick, which is great because I'm 6'2", a lot of sleeping pads out there like only come to the back of my knees or to my calves. <laughs> and it sucks because then your, your ankles and your feet and your heels and everything are, are not getting any insulation properties or comfort or whatever, they're just sitting on the ground. So this being 72 inches, it's a lot more comfortable for a, a big guy like me. It works great in hammocks, especially if you got a double layer, layer hammock, you can slide that in, uh, underneath your top layer and it kind of helps keep it in place and you got a nice insulator and pad while you're in your hammock. So great for backpacking, car tent, camping, the whole nine, right? Made out of 30D polyester fabric, soft and quiet. It's got V chambers to maximize loft and warmth and create comfortable loft pockets that supports the body's pressure points. Side rails make it easier to stay on the pad through the night. And that's a donkey. You don't have to have a pump to blow this up. You can blow this up with your lungs, but it is compatible with the Climate uh, Rapid Air Pump and Electric Pump. And it's got a patch kit and the stuff sack. So I got one here in a mystery spot, already blown up. Right there, yeehaw, look at that thing. Look at that, it's nice, it's nice. So as you can see here, it's got the V channels, which is really good because a, a lot of other pads are just flat right there. So this kind of helps give you a little bit of airflow. You don't sweat quite as bad on something like this right here. The condensation isn't quite as bad, but it gives you a lot of nice support through there. And then here's the sides they were talking about. See how it's kind of, I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm trying to look at the screen, see if I can tell if you can see that or not. But here's the little side areas or wings, if you will, that kind of, somewhat conform to you so it's not so easy just like to roll off or it, it to collapse if you get too close to the edge. Some of these pads when you get too close to the edge it kind of collapses and you just kind of easily can come off the pad. This one not so much. And again it's 72 inches so it's touching the ground right there so it's I'm just a little bit taller than this so I'm good to go with it being a tall guy. And one thing that I really like about this sleeping pad is the valve. Check this valve out. So when you pop the cover off right here, you see it says inflate. So it's got a two-way valve. So as you, you put your mouth over this and you inflate it, when you have to take another breath or something like that, you don't have to worry about air escaping out, which is good. And then when you're ready to deflate it, you just flip this valve over. So right there it says press here to flip. You push that valve in and you can release the air very, very quickly, which is really nice. Then you push it back to inflate or you leave it on deflate while you got it packed up. You don't have to worry about it, you know, due to temperature changes or pressure changes or whatever. You don't have to worry about it kind of trying to swell up or whatever when it's inside the, the packaging. And then, like I said, you can use one of their pumps to pump this up or you can just knock your battle box on the ground. You can just blow it up by hand by hand, by lungs, by mouth, by CPR. And then pop your protective little cover back on there. All right, folks. So it's nice. I dig that, I dig that right there. So the combination 
of this pad and this pillow right here. You can camp in comfort, yeehaw. You hear me? I need to pick my battle box up off the ground. Get back up here. And I've tested that sleeping pad in my hammock. I've tested it on the ground. It's very durable. I got a lot of little sticks and twigs. Of course, you want to clean up as much as that up as, as you possibly can. But, you know, if there's a little twig or something laying around on the ground or something, you know, it does, it, it's very durable and does a good job of not puncturing. But it also has a repair kit with it as well in the event that you need that, which is nice. Sleep outside, folks. Yo. So that's your pro box. You got the Pillow X, you got the Static V2, the Cali Loja table, the Tactica, the, um, the pot gripper and canister recycle tool, and then your fire cubes right there. Yeehaw. So now it's time for the Pro Plush. So in the Pro Box this month, we've got the ATEC Phantom. This is a really nice EDC folder right here that now is out of my box. My box is probably going to fall off the table, so let me close my box up. Right here, the ATAC Phantom in the box. Let's get it out of the box. Let's take it out of the box. This thing right here is sexy. This is a sexy EDC folder right here. Ba-bam! Will you look at that? Will you look at that in the shadow? Can you see it? <laughs> Over here. <laughs> I'll let you look at it down here. Let me close it back up so I can open it for you again. Here we go, the ATAC Phantom. Look at that thing. That's a good looking knife right there. That's definitely gonna raise some eyebrows when you whip this rascal out in front of your buddies when they say, all right, pocket dump. So real quick, let me tell you about the finish and everything on this thing before I open it up here. So this is, again, the ATAC Phantom EDC folder. It's got Harbor Gray anodized aluminum handle with copper colored hardware. So you can see the copper there and the hardware and the pivot, the clip and everything. It's really freaking cool looking with that gray. And the steel, let's talk about the steel as I open it up right there. Look at that rascal. So we got Japanese VG10 stainless steel blade. It's got really nice jimping up here close to the pivot and midway down the spine of the blade there. It only weighs 125 grams, so it's an excellent EDC knife going into the warmer months. I know for me during the summertime when I do wear shorts, having a lighter knife is something that is kind of nice, right? You don't have a heavy knife weighing down you, weighing down your shorts. So this is an excellent warm and summer weather EDC folder right here, and it's really in line, in my opinion, with kind of a, a gentleman's folder. It's, it's, this is a, this is like a, a folder you wear when you got a tuxedo on which I can't remember the last time I wore a tuxedo. But if I was going to wear a tuxedo, by God, I'd have this right here in my pocket because it looks like a tuxedo knife. <laughs> Feels very good in the hand. Very, very well built. Opens very well. As you can see here, there's your locking mechanism. Very smooth. And very sharp. I'm going to be honest with you. In my opinion, this is, this is, it doesn't have the weight of the Brazza that we sent in the, pla in the past, which is a very popular folding knife, but it's got that feel to it. It, it, it it's lighter, but it's got that, that Brazza kind of premium feel to it. Really, really nice. So that is your Pro Plus knife of the month, the ATAC Phantom. They named it very well. It, 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 it definitely looks like phantom. It looks like a phantom knife. The copper accents really set it off. The copper accent with the, the lanyard hole back here, the hardware. Don't get it close to your climate pillow or your pad. You might be using your uh, repair kit way too soon. <laughs> So that's Mission 86 of Battle Box, folks. Really cool box this month that should get the juices flowing for you to get outdoors. Lots of things here that should really get you excited about the warmer weather coming and, and, and getting outdoors and working on your survival skills and having fun with your kids in the outdoors or whatever that might be, right? So we're gonna start over here for a real quick recap. We've got the M020 Camp Card Multi-Tool from Tactica, really cool card right there or tool right there rather, that, that you can really just keep in a wallet if you want. And you got a way to start fire and you got a way to tighten rope. You got a sundial, you got a way to measure, you got a way to pull your tent pegs. If you got a stubborn tent peg that you can't get out of the ground, lots of really cool uses for that little multi-tool right there.
And then we got another really handy tool right here called the handled. I didn't mean to do that, it just worked that way. The handy handled <laughs> from Outdoor Element right here. So you got a way to grab your pots and your pans off your fire or your heat source while you're in camp. And you've got a way to puncture and re so that you can properly recycle your fuel canisters when, when you're done using those fuel canisters instead of just throwing them in the trash without being punctured or potentially hurting yourself trying to puncture one if you're trying to do the right thing. So a really cool tool right there that solves two problems when it comes to cooking in the wild, grabbing hot things and recycling your canisters. And then from Survive Outdoors Longer or Soul, we've got these fuel, these fuel cubes right here. These work great. Wet, windy. Sorry, could you say that again? They burn extremely hot, 1300 BTUs, and they, they last a little bit longer than some that are out on the market and they're waterproof, they're small, compact. You can split these up and put them in multiple packs. They work great from grilling at the house to an emergency fire in the outdoors in a survival situation. If you have these on hand, you are sure to get a life-sustaining fire going in no time. They work great. Then over here on this side, we've got the Caliloha camp table. Great for camp, don't get me wrong. I mean, how many times have you been in camp and you wish you had a solid surface to set stuff down on or a table to set stuff down on that's not a pain in your freaking butt to carry out? Or how many times those of you that take your families to the beach and you, are, are you the guy that's like pulling the giant cart with like half your house in it to hang out at the beach for the day and you wish you had a table? <laughs> Boom, there it is right there. <laughs> I mean, it's freaking great. So I, I can't even express to you how awesome having a table is and this table is freaking awesome you're gonna freaking love it and then we got these two products from climate we got the pillow x and as best as i could display for you right here we got the static v2 um just hanging off the end of the table out of, out of frame but the static v2 sleeping pad great sleep system great for hammocks great for on the ground any, any situation where, where you want to be comfortable and get a good night's sleep or get a good rest throughout the middle of the day they're easy to blow up, easy to deflate, and they actually fit back into the freaking stuff sacks that they come in, which is amazing, right? That's a great thing. So awesome two items right there from Climate. And then last but not least, we've got the Phantom ATAC sitting up here. I got it jabbed into the box so it don't puncture my, my Climate stuff right here. <laughs> but we've got the Phantom ATAC, awesome EDC folder, very elegant. It's got the, the harbor gray uh, finish to it with the copper accents on the, the hardware. It's just a sexy, it's a sexy folder, man. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's borderline, like, it, it's not gentleman, gentleman's folder in the sense of it being uh, extremely fancy, but it, it, ha it has that feel. It's got that, it's got that aura about it. And it's definitely when you, when you around your buddies and somebody calls for a pocket dump, which I don't know about you, but I, I got those friends, man. We'll be hanging out at hunting camp or we'll be getting together for something. They're like, hey man, pocket dump, see what you got. And, yeah. and uh, you whip that knife out and guys are gonna be like, hey man, I need one of those. <laughs> so, and that's a donkey. So the ATAC Phantom is the Pro Plus knife of the month for 86, y'all. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like and comment down below, share with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified when I post more videos. Yeehaw. So again, I'm sorry about the delay in this video. Um, as I said earlier, we, we had a pretty rough week around here down in Southeast Georgia. So if you don't mind, keep, uh, keep the people in Bryan County, Bullitt County and Effingham County in, in your prayers. Uh, they're, they're actually, I think, I think last I heard, they're still searching for some people that are unaccounted for. So um, tough times going on down here. And uh, always be prepared, folks. Be, be thinking about things like that. You never know when you're going to end up in a situation like that. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you can replace material things, but, uh, you know, you, you, can't, you can't replace people, right? You can't, in some memories, um, you know, being lost forever really suck too. So. Just be thinking about ways that you can mitigate natural disasters if that's keeping copies of, of important documents or very, very 
important things to you, like keeping copies of those and keeping them in multiple areas and different different places in case something happens and, and you end up losing some of it. So uh, keep, keep those people in your prayers and I'll see you next month with Mission 87 of Battlebox, yeehaw. I'm gonna set my table up to help me clean all this stuff up. <laughs> put this down here so I can put stuff on it. Yeehaw. Love you, mean it. See y'all next month with Mission 87. Ants everywhere. Die ant. Mm, 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 mm. Cut that ant in half. <laughs>